Hello everybody, I just actually started taking apart this MacBook, it's about a 2009 model and um, it still works, there's just a few things I wanted to fix inside of it and so I figured while I was taking it apart I might as well record it so you guys can see what's inside of one of these so, so you don't have to take yours apart if you don't want to. So I've actually already got the battery out and there's a plate here that goes right here which looks like this, it just kind of fits in here like this, if you can see with my hands out of the way. So yeah, I've taken all that out. So I was just getting ready to take, so this is the hard drive. Pulled the hard drive out. I think it's a 500 gigabyte hard drive, so it's not very big. It was at the time. And then if we flip these levers, should pop our RAM out. These are about a gig each. So pop, go ahead and pop those out, get those out of the way here. And then I've already taken out a bunch of these screws here. So, theoretically, we should be able to, ah, yep, yeah, okay, let me flip it over here, uh, open it up, and the keyboard should pop out unless there's any screws I've missed, which there shouldn't be, because I think I got them all, there we go, okay, so, oh, there is a ribbon cable down here, though, that I gotta pop out, uh, let me, uh, hold on, oh, it pops up, there we go. Alrighty, there's your first look inside of a MacBook. This one has actually been modified, as you can see here. It's actually got a solid state hard drive in it where the CD drive used to be. There's the bottom side of the keyboard, in case you're wondering, with a little ribbon cable for the mouse and the keyboard and stuff, and the speakers. I'll integrate it into this little piece here. So we'll go ahead and set that out of the way now that that's off. So we've got the interior of our MacBook here, and what the freak is going on with that? But anyway, yeah, so that's what we've got going on here. So this, oops, should, there we go, just pop right on out like that. It's a whole 64 gigabytes of solid state memory. Uh, we've got our motherboard and another speaker, actually the two speakers in here. I don't know why I thought there was a speaker on that. It actually is not the speaker. It is the power button, not a speaker. The speakers are here, here, and we've got one right here. Uh, and I believe this one's a diagnostic speaker. So the only two that play sound are this one and this one here on either side. So let's keep going though. I mean, we've got the top off so we can see what's inside of here, but we gotta keep going because there's more stuff. So let me see where we need to go next in order to start taking this, finish taking this apart. Now, truth be told, you don't actually have to pull the whole heat sink off. I'm doing that anyway because there's a few things I'm working on it. So as you can see there, <laughs> there is the cause, oh, if I can hold the light, of the overheating. All of that lint gets built up in there and the air can't flow through it to cool down the computer. All right, guys, that is an empty MacBook shell. Literally pretty much everything, there's, oh, there's the power cable. Other than that, I mean, I've taken everything else out. Motherboard's right here. I can show you the motherboard. So here's our, here's the motherboard out of it and everything. But yeah, that's the uh, disembodied screen with the random wires sticking out of it. I will make another video of me putting this all back together outside the case. I'm going to make this run outside the case. I'll post a link or an end link from this video to that video if you're interested in seeing that. So once that other video is up, There'll be a link here so you can go check it out. But that is it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.